how Thanksgiving about, came uh, came about. I do want to talk about it. First of all, you got to remember, my dear brother, that history, his story, is it's not our story. When they proclaimed Thanksgiving, it was in Mystic, Connecticut, a tribe of Indian people, the Pequots, that were thriving and surviving. But shortly after, we taught these white people how to farm and how to take care of the land and raise food. They got beside themselves. A few years after they started prospering, they decided that they were going to take their women and their children out to a big field and have a cookout celebration. No Indians brought deer. There was never a Thanksgiving dinner with them, according to what they say. Not true. The celebration of Thanksgiving was the men walked off from their families and went further north into Mystic, Connecticut, and he murdered these Pequot Indian children, elders, women, and men. Got them in the enclosure of their habitat. They built forts, per se, but that was only for the protection of their people. And they trapped them in where they couldn't get out, and they set it on fire, and they burned them to death. Then they came back. They were so thankful that they had killed these Indians, but that was the first Thanksgiving not what you read about in their books. It wasn't until uh, when President Lincoln decided, instead of having it every other day when they were going to different tribes killing them, that he decided to make it once a year, a day of Thanksgiving once a year. True. But let me tell you about President Lincoln. Because Indians, the Dakota, the Dakota, and Nakota Indians wouldn't give up. These are the people from Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, up in that area. They were fighting, and they captured in excess of 200 of them. And they wanted to hang them all. But Lincoln intervened and he said, no, I don't want you to hang them all. Pick 38 of them. And that's how they came up with the Mankato 38. That was the largest mass hanging ever 